Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If this is the first time you've ever clicked on one of my videos. Hi, I'm Courtney Sims. Now, I decided to set myself a speed build challenge where I had to create a house with one room. So, basically, I could not add any exterior or interior walls. I had to somehow figure out how to put a bedroom, a bathroom, kitchen and living room all into one big room. And it it was fun, I'm not going to lie, because I like a challenge. But it was also a little bit tricky trying to figure out how to put everything in and at the same time it looked right um the the garden well the front garden i decided to just keep nice and simple because i knew the inside of the house i would have to take a lot of time with i'd have to really think about where i wanted everything so I just put a few plants in, a tree, um, the back garden I kept nice and simple as well because I didn't want to over complicate the front and the back of the house because I knew that the inside of the house was going to be the personality of this house if that makes sense. So. That's why I just put a few put a few flowers, put a tree, and left it at that. I just I didn't want to overcomplicate it. Because this house is basically a rectangle, I kind of struggled with what windows to put in because I'm used to um basically creating a house out of letters so I'm used to a house having what's the word unusual shapes so to go from that to a house like this it was a little bit of a shock to my system so it it was different and I really did enjoy the challenge I really did love how this kitchen turned out because obviously the kitchen is like the heart of this home so I wanted it to be cozy a little bit cluttered you know because when I was designing or decorating I was trying to imagine what kind of sim lived here you know what kind of aesthetic would they go for you know what kind of clutter would they have in the house and another thing is the wallpaper because normally you know each room has a different color different color scheme but with this house obviously I had to pick a color scheme that worked with every single area of this house so that's why I just went for a very neutral color because I thought beige goes with everything it's a safe color I'll go with that oh the window the window for this kitchen I just I don't know why it frustrated me so much it's just I had this idea in my head of what I wanted the kitchen to look like and the fact that these windows were not cooperating with what I had in my head really frustrated me and because the house is such a simple shape I wanted to try and give the inside as much 
personality as I could. So that's why you see me change the windows so much. I normally love clutter in a house, I really do, but with this kitchen I had such a limited space in which I could clutter that I, I, I put a lot of clutter onto those shelves, I really did because I feel like most kitchens you know it's not completely clear you know most people have lots of bits around you know stuff on the sides um, unless you're a minimalist then obviously maybe your counters are empty or quite clear I know mine ain't <laughs> and oh this living room this living room should have been so easy for me to do you know just TV a couple of decorations a sofa and a what would you call that a cabinet or a TV unit TV unit but for some reason this sofa bugged me and now I'm looking now I'm watching it back I'm not completely sure why because I think it's because I wanted there to be more I wanted there to be more stuff in the living room you know to try and emphasize the fact that this is the living area you know this is not the living area the living room you know try and separate it from the kitchen if that makes sense but I like how it turned out but at the time it did frustrate me because bec because I put that rug down in the kitchen and I feel like it, that rug does fit with the house it fits with the aesthetic that I was going for trying to find a rug that matched that one without having a carbon copy of it just no I, I couldn't oh it frustrated it frustrated me so eventually I just went okay no rug we just have wooden floors just just a nice simple rug in the kitchen and I think I put one in the bathroom as well um, yes I did I did edit out quite a bit of footage of me going back and forth with different sofas because that that would have just oh my goodness the amount of time I spent trying to figure out this living room I spent far too much time on it I really did it's just I'm not used to building a house that is a 100% open floor plan you know I'm used to having walls so I'm used to there being a divide of some sort between each room so so it definitely was a challenge for me but I definitely love how this house turned out in the end despite my uh, my struggles this this area I tried to keep nice and simple you know I didn't want to overcomplicate this house because like I said it's an open floor plan I didn't want to just fill it with unnecessary stuff you know I wanted it to be a case of whatever I put into this house it had a purpose you know it's meant to be there it looks like it's meant to be there like plants I love adding potted plants flowers 
to my builds, to my houses. But with this one, I felt like I couldn't just fill this house with plants as much as I wanted to because I want I wanted there to be flow. You know, and oh that bathroom. That bathroom man. That that was the part I was most nervous about is how do I conceal a bathroom without adding any interior walls? You know, how do you how do you hide it? You know, so I had to I had to get creative. I really did. And I definitely don't know how it will work with your sims in the sense that you know it is one room so if you've got a party going on and your sim is in is going to the toilet and you've got guests in the living room I don't know how that's gonna work I don't know how your sim will react to that also Normally, I like adding um, like children rooms, children's bedrooms, and toddler rooms because I'm a, I'm a big family sim player. But in this house, I just I couldn't figure out how to add that. So I would definitely say this is a starter home. Obviously, if you download this off the gallery, you know, feel free to add add walls add a second floor if you want to, you know, once you download it, it's, it's yours to do with whatever you may, you may wish to. I will say, with this kitchen table, I didn't want to just put it in the middle of the room because I felt like it would look, it wouldn't look right. So that's why I just tucked it against the counters to What's the word? Oh, I can't think of the word. It just, it, it looked better. It, it flowed better with the kitchen, if that makes sense. The back garden, I'm not gonna lie, I, I wasn't sure what to do with it. Now, normally with a, with a small space, ironically, there's more you can do with it because you don't have to worry about having to use up so much space but for some reason my mind just went blank and so I figured you know what just keep it nice and simple just put a barbecue put a little seating area because obviously I don't have any kids rooms or toddler rooms I figured there's no point me putting children's toys or anything like that in the back garden because this isn't intended for like a family home like I said if you want to turn it into a family home you go ahead you're, you're more than welcome Okay, so we're coming to the end of the video now, so I'm going to love you and leave you. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, drop a comment downstairs. This, this build will be up on the gallery under cottage underscore one underscore sims. I will also leave the link to my Tumblr where I reblog as much CC as I can remember to that I use in my game. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day and I will see you all in my very next video. Bye guys!